I opened the door and there she was. Hey, pretty girl. Looking back with those innocent eyes, we could tell something was wrong. She had cuts on her body where she rubbed against barbed wire. All of her ribs were showing. You want some food? But she had such a sweet personality, we knew we had to save her. It started a week after my stepmom's funeral. We were in the living room cheering my father up when he noticed something outside. Dad opened the door and she was just standing there. Dad ran to the kitchen and cut some apples. It's okay. We could tell she was nervous, but once she started eating, she didn't stop. You like that? There was new construction in the area that had cleared a lot of land. Without a place to live, Pepper had nowhere else to go. That night, Dad went to the store and bought apples. Lots and lots of apples. But the next day, Pepper didn't show. Dad waited and waited. Then just when he was about to give up, there she was again. Only this time, she wasn't alone. Pepper was a mom. She had three fawns relying on her for food. To keep them alive, she was giving them everything. Dad always made sure they had enough. Good, good girl, do you like? After a while, Pepper's wounds started to heal. She began putting on weight and her fawns grew quickly. They put on heavy coats for winter. And just when we didn't think anything else would change, they came together for weeks. He was her deer in shining armor. But winter was coming. And with construction ending, we knew it was time for them to go. Pepper stayed extra long that day, as if to say goodbye. Then she walked into the trees and disappeared. Every now and then, Pepper stops by to say hello. Her coat has healed, and her fawns are fully grown. She's moved on, and so has Dad. Shortly after Pepper's goodbye, Dad met a fellow widower who's turned into a wonderful companion. I'm not sure who saved who, but every time I pass the apple section in the grocery, or hear something outside, I think back to that first day when Pepper appeared at our front door and found her way into our hearts forever.